Hey everyone, it's me Dennis. I'm so excited. I finally got this box. I've been waiting for this box for like five days now. Um, it's from Germany. I got this box from Melissa Goldforce. I'll link her stuff down below. Um, thank you so much Melissa for this box. I'm so excited to open it up. Um, before I even open this box, I would like to clarify what briars are because some of you guys have been really confused by the title. Um, briar horses are basically collectible model horses and um, they do be kind of pricey, but they're really nice, and um, there are two holy grails in here, two horses that I really want to own, um, but they're really expensive, but I found them on a pretty good deal, in my opinion, I spent 250 euros um, on these three horses, including shipping, which is amazing, in my opinion, and thank you, Melissa, again, I'm so excited. Before I open this box, I would like to know if there's any collectors in Romania, because I feel so lonely in this hobby, because I live in Romania, and there's no one that I know that collects briars here, and... If you live in Romania and you collect briar horses, please hit me up. I, I feel lonely. <laughs> All right, let's open it up. I really hope they didn't break. I know that Melissa told me that she looked for, um, for bubble wrap in three different stores and they didn't have any, so she just used old clothing to pack it up. Um, I'm so excited. There are literally two horses in here that I've been wanting for quite some time, but I was like, yeah, I'm never gonna own them. They're so expensive. This box is huge. I was not expecting it to be this big, honestly. Always cut towards yourself. That's the number one rule. All right. Okay, I see a lot of newspaper. I am so beyond excited. I haven't gotten a briar in literally one year, I think. Last time I got a briar was the Bozeman one. I only own two traditionals right now because I have sold two of them. Never really owned many horses, only like four in total. Um, but I've ordered in the past week um, so many briars. I've literally spent $400 in the past week on model horses. I'm not okay, like something's really wrong here. But um, anyway, I'll try and be careful. Sorry for the bad audio quality, I don't have a microphone for my camera, which sucks. Alright, I think I see something. I'm so excited. I'm so beyond excited. I'm pretty sure she told me that she sent me a letter, and I didn't see it. Am I still recording? <laughs> I'm not okay, I'm just worried I'm not recording, imagine. Alright. Um, important. Don't throw me away. This is so nice. Alright, let's see what, what it says. Let's see what we got here. Um, how do I open this up without breaking it? That's the question. Without ripping it. Okay. These are the certificates. Wait, that's a spoiler. Okay, I will be reading this one first. Open me, please. This is so nice. Wow, I haven't been this excited for something in quite some time, not gonna lie. This is so exciting. More exciting than Christmas um, or my birthday, whatever. Hi, Dennis. I hope the three horses arrived safely and that you like them. Thank you for the very kind and uncomplicated contact. Make sure to take good care of the <laughs> Make sure to take good care of the rats. Um, I hope you love them as much as I did, Melly. This is so nice, Melissa. Thank you so much. I'll for sure take care of them. I'll just keep this here and never throw this away. And I also have some stuff here that I will not be opening just yet because that would spoil the thing for you guys. You would know which horses I bought, so Alright, I think they're safe. I don't think anything broke, which is good. So here is, I think, one of them. I am so excited. Are you kidding me? Alright, she packed them really well. I don't think anything broke, honestly, which is such a relief to me, honestly, because if these broke, I would be really sad. Every single time I order a briar, I'm like, wow, the horse is huge. Like, every single time I get a horse, I'm like, wow, I didn't expect it to be this big, so I feel like it's gonna happen again. Yep, it's already happening. I feel like this horse is huge and I never expected it to be this big. Um, now, I don't know if you guys can tell by the mold, uh, by the shape, which one it is. Uh, I think this one is Earth. Yeah, I think it's Earth. So, let's open it up. Oh my god, can you guys see it? I am so excited. Wow, the horses are huge. This is the one I'm least excited about. Uh, I was not sure I wanted to buy it, honestly, but it was such a good price that I was like, you know what, I might as well just buy it. Um, this is not my holy grail, my holy grails are the two other ones that I ordered, so this is one of the most, um... What am I saying? Wow, the horse is huge, I was not expecting it to be this big, honestly. Wow, I'm so excited for these horses. So, she told me that the tail of this horse was broken and that she um, got it repaired, so happy about that. I love the dabbles on this horse. They're very subtle. Wow. So this is Earth, on the ethereal mold. I can see where the tail was broken, but it's not a big deal, it's all glued back. Um, 
So this is Earth from the Ethereal Collection of the Four um, Signs, I believe it's called. Wow, I was not expecting this horse to be this big. Like, that's what I always say when I get a new horse. I love it. Okay, moving on, onto the more exciting ones. Wow, there's so many wrapping stuff here. Here's another one. I'm really excited for these two. I'm not gonna lie, like, I'm really excited for these two. I haven't made an unboxing video in a year, not kidding. Well, last time I got a horse was a year ago when I got Bozeman um, off of eBay for $130, including shipping, which was quite a lot of money, but this hobby is expensive, what can you do about it? The reason why I kind of dropped out of the hobby and I'm back into it again um, is because I found the horses really expensive and I was like, you know what, the horses I really want to buy, I'll never get them because they're too expensive. Um, but now I'm back into the hobby and I can afford what I couldn't afford before, I think, and that's exciting. Oh my god, this is fire. This is fire. Um, one of my holy grails. But these horses look so much different in person than in real life. And that's what, like all the briars, I think, because in pictures they seem more small, if that makes sense, but they're actually huge. I'll soon be running out of um, room on my shelves for these horses. So this one is a chestnut Apalooza, I think. And the details are insane on this one. Wow, I really like spots on this one. All right, my bed is a complete mess right now. Wow, the details are insane on this one. So this is fire on the ethereal mode. Wow, the details are insane on this one. It's really nice. Yeah, I love it. I don't really care about the fact that they're not LSQ, whatever. I do not show my horses because again, I'm the only collector I know in Romania. And since there's no one collecting briars except for me in Romania, we don't have any you know shows going on. So that's a bit sad, but. I love this one so much, and there's one more horse that I have to um, that I have to unbox, which is one I'm really excited about. The dapples on that one are just insane. Wait, what? There's more stuff here. What? All right. I oh, I thought it was a different model. I was so confused at first. I was like, did she send me an extra model? But no, it's the same mold. I thought it felt like a different mold, but it's not. Um, so I already spoiled it for you guys, it's again another one on- oh my god. This is my favorite one, I think. Like, I like this one more than fire, I believe, which is insane. Because like, everyone loves fire the most, right? Um, this one's fire. But I feel like this one, I'm just a sucker for dapple grays. You guys can't tell, it's a, it's a gray one. Um, this is water on the ethereal mold. I love this one so much, I'm in love already. I love dapple grays. There's something with me in dapple grays, just can't explain, I don't know why. Um, when I first got into horses, I really used to love Palomino horses. Now I don't really like them anymore that much. I mean, I do, but I'm not like that big of a sucker for Palominos. Now I'm really into Dapple Grays. This horse is insane. I love the Dapples on this one. And I'm so happy they all arrived safely. Nothing's broken. Wow, this leg looks different. No, it doesn't. What is wrong with me? This is also the first time I'm ever seeing an ethereal um, in real life. I've never been to Briarfest, which is really sad. Um, I am planning on going in 2021, this year. I already bought a ticket and I'm so beyond excited to be vlogging that experience too. I know it's not that fun because it's virtual, but I would have never been able to attend Briarfest in real life anyway. Because the uh, plane tickets to USA are like $2,000, which is a lot of money and I wouldn't spend that much just to go to Briarfest. Wow. Oh boy. No, this is my favorite one. Like, I love Dapples. So this is water on the ethereal collection. Um, no, this is literally my favorite one. I love this one. So now I have a small um, ethereal conga. I cannot hold all of them together. That would be kind of risky. There's also something else in the box that I saw, which is unexpected. I don't know what it is. So there's this thing in the box, and I suppose it's chocolate, but I don't know. Melissa, thank you so much for whatever it is in here. Um, Oh no, here are the stands! What is wrong with me? I forgot about the stands, and also I have to show you guys... Um... I thought it was chocolate just because it has the same, sh the same shape, whatever. Um, so this one is for Earth, I believe. I'm not quite sure. I know that one of them is missing the stand. She told me, but I forgot which one. I don't want to drop these horses, like imagine. Imagine if I drop this horse. Um, I don't know if this one is the one for Earth or not. Looks like it's for Earth, right? Oh no, this one's for Earth. Oh yeah, it's just that it should be like this, right? Yep, I love the stand so much. 
This one's for Earth. Yeah, we'll not be keeping it like that because I'm kind of scared it will fall down. All right, um, there's one more thing I have to look for. So, over here I have the certificates for all these horses. Certificate of Authenticity, I only have the ones for Earth and Fire. But yeah, these are really cool. These horses are limited editions and you could only get them for a period of time. I don't know when. I know that they're released in 2008, but I don't know like how you could earn these, how you could buy these horses. If you know them, please let me know down below because I have no idea. And I really want to know how you could achieve these horses and buy them. Okay, so there are the other stands here, I think. This one's for fire, I believe. Yep, this one's for fire. I don't want to drop these horses. If I would drop them, I would scream. So this one's for fire. It's looking amazing. I'm in love with this horse. I will give you guys some close-ups of these horses at the end of the video. So again, I got Earth. I love this guy so much. It's not my favorite one, but I still like it. Then I got Fire. Um, that was my dog, by the way. Then I got Fire. I really, really like this horse. The details are insane. It's an Apusa Chestnut, and this one is a... My voice just cracked. This one is a Dark Bay Tobiano, I believe, or Pinto. I feel like I'm really wrong about that. I think I didn't get it, but... There's also the Grulo Pinto one that I really want to get. Um, I could have gotten it when it first came out. It was like $50, but I never got it. And now it's sold for over 100 which is a bit upsetting, but... I really want to get a Gorilla one. I could have also bought the wind, but I didn't buy it just because it's kind of plain in my opinion, but I think it pictures grey horses, light grey horses look very plain, but in real life they're much more detailed. Um, and I also didn't get it because I have spent way too much money on horses lately, like I have to calm down, this is becoming a real issue. <laughs> so yeah, this is um, water, my favorite one. I cannot believe I like water more than fire. I mean, they're so different, I just cannot pick favorites, but I really like them both, they're really amazing. Um, I'll give you guys some close-ups right now of these horses because you have to take a look at how well they're made. So these are my three Briar horses. I freaking love them. As you can tell, my shelf is already full. And these two are my only shelves, which is not okay. I have to rethink my whole room and, you know, buy more shelves because there are more Briars in the way. Fire, the Chestnut Apollosa horse is amazing. I love the details on the coat. I love the hooves and the details it has. Um, I love how it has two different eye colors. That's really fun. Um, I was expecting to like this one more than the other two, but actually I feel like I like the other two a bit more than Fire, which is really weird because I know everyone loves Fire more than anyone else. And then Earth is really amazing, I love the details on it. Water is my favorite one so far. Um, there's something about its face and the dapples, and for some reason I really like Dapple Grays, and um, this one really didn't disappoint. I love these horses so much, and... Again, I have to rethink my whole room, I have to buy shelves to have space and room for these new horses that are coming on the way. Oh, whoops. <laughs> I want to take a thumbnail, but I don't want to break them. Melissa, thank you again for these three boys. Um, they all got those... Yeah, they're all stallions. They're not gildings, so it's good because they didn't go through any pain. Um, <laughs> Melissa, thank you again for all these horses. I really like them. I am so happy to be holding these horses. Um, fire and water have been my holy grails, and I thought I would never get them, but I got them, and I'm really happy about that, so thank you so much. That was it for today's video, guys. Please stay tuned for more Briar unboxing videos, because let me tell you, they're on the way, because I bought another three horses, and I'll be soon unboxing them. So yeah, guys, that was it for today's video. I'll see you in my next one. Bye, everyone.